This video is to show you how to use Google Meet for breakout rooms. The breakout room feature has just recently been rolled out to all of us, and you can reach that by clicking on the triangle of shapes here in the top right, the activities button. That will open up your options. To start breakout rooms, you click breakout rooms. And then you can increase the number of rooms. According to the instructions, you can have up to 100 rooms. I've done up to 18 rooms in one meet before. When you increase the number of rooms, it will evenly break out the people in the meet into the breakout rooms. You can rename the breakout rooms. If it's going to be different groups working on different projects, you will always stay in the main call until you use until you join another breakout. You're going to click open rooms, which then is going to put a dialogue on everyone else's computer that says join asks to join the breakout rooms. They have to actually click those buttons to go into their individual breakout rooms, and you can see that they're now in their rooms. To join one of their rooms, you simply click join, and you will go from the main room to their breakout rooms. An important thing to remember here is that now you are no longer in the main call, so anyone who is coming into your classroom will not be able to join your classroom until you return to the main call. To go back to the main room, you simply leave the room you're in and you go back to the main Google Meet room. When you give these instructions to your students, you also want to make sure that you tell them not to leave their breakout rooms until you hit the close rooms button. If they click the leave button on their breakout room and you are not in the main call, and no one else is in the main call, then they'll just start spinning and will go into a limbo space until you are back in the main call. To end all of the rooms at the same time, you click close rooms. Everyone will be asked to return to the main call. They will have to hit the return button on their individual devices. And you'll see them that they've stopped spinning here. And then what I always do is I also clear the rooms, which means that if they happen to not be here, or they stepped away, or they didn't click the leave button, then they'll bounce back into the main call when they come back into the room instead of into their breakout rooms. Once you're done, your meet goes on as usual. If you've been recording your Google Meet, your recording will stop when you start the breakout rooms and resume when everyone else goes into the main room. The breakout rooms are not recorded.